All right, thanks for watching and welcome to our second practice with the rigorous definition of a limit. And today what we would like to show is the following. We would like to show that the limit as n goes to infinity of 2n plus 4 over 4n plus 5 is what? So intuitively, those two terms are much bigger than those terms, so the fraction just becomes 2 fourths, which is 1 half. That's what you want to show. In particular, let this be Sn and let this be S. What does that mean for Sn to go to S? I would like to remind you that the definition is for our epsilon positive, there is some threshold capital N, which I'll underline here, such that if you reach that threshold, so if you go beyond this, if N is cap greater than capital N, then you're at most epsilon away from your desired limit. And I would like to remind you, so uh, the first step in this is to find capital N, and you do this by solving for n in this equation. So step one, let's find n. Okay, and in particular, we have to, again, solve for n in this equation. So let's find Sn minus S, which becomes 2n plus 4 over 4n plus 5 minus one half and let's simplify this a little bit by putting it on a common denominator so this just becomes let's see uh, 2n plus 4 times 2 i believe minus 1 times 4n plus 5 over 2 times 4n plus 5 Always sounds like I'm saying 4n, but it's 4n. So not like 4n students and stuff. All right. Um, then this becomes uh, 4n <laughs> plus 8 minus 4n minus 5 over 2 times 4n plus 5. And lo and behold, things simplify as they should. And that becomes, if you want, 3 over 2 times 4n plus 5. And here's the thing, everything is positive here, so we get 3 over, so in other words, the absolute value disappears, and that's 3 over 2 times 4n plus 5. And remember, we want this to set, to, we want like all this gibberish to be less than epsilon. In particular, what we can do, we can solve for n in this equation. So. Now, what does that imply? First of all, so 3 over 2 times 4n plus 5 is less than epsilon. Well, one thing you can do um, is divide by 3 halves. So this becomes 1 over 4n plus 5. It's less than, if you divide by 3 halves, it's like multiplying by 2 thirds. So it's 2 epsilon over 3. And then you take reciprocals. And remember when you take reciprocals, you change the sign of the inequality. And that becomes then three over two epsilon. And then you just solve for n. So I guess you get uh, four n is greater than three over two epsilon uh, minus five. And in particular n, it's greater than uh, 3 over 8 epsilon minus 5 fourths. All right, so then you have this, and there's no, no reason to simplify, and in particular this suggests to choose capital N to be this. So capital N, it's 3 over 8 epsilon minus 5 fourths. 
And notice, you don't even need to check if this is positive or negative, because remember, capital N is just uh, uh, any real number. So it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, but little n has to be positive. Uh, that's important. Okay, so this is your n, and now um, what you have to do, you just have to check that this works. So now it's your actual proof. So step two, so let epsilon be positive and let n be that number, three over eight epsilon minus five fourths. Then if n is bigger than the threshold, then again, take the difference, so Sn minus S, and again becomes a difference between your sequence and uh, your limit. So I think it was 2n over 4, over 4n plus 5, and then uh, minus 1 half, and because everything was an equality before, it's okay to skip your steps in this case and just write this as uh, 3 over 2 times 4n plus 4. And again, this is, because it's positive, that is 3 over 2 times 4n plus 5. The point is what we have to worry about are inequalities. So here now, unfortunately, you have to repeat your work. But now remember, so we know that n, it's greater than capital N, which becomes a 3 over 8 epsilon minus 5 fourths. Then first of all, let's talk about this 4n plus 5. So then, 4n plus 5. It's greater than 4 times 3 over 8 epsilon minus 5 fourths plus 5. And that simplifies to, so 4 over 8 is 1 half, so 3 over 2 epsilon minus 5 plus 5, and that becomes 3 over 2 epsilon. And therefore, if you now take reciprocals, so 1 over 4n plus 5, then becomes less than 1 over that, so 1 over 3 over 2 epsilon, which is 2 epsilon over 3, and then if you multiply this by 3 halves, so, so in other words, if you want Sn minus S, which is 3 over 2 times 4n plus 5, then becomes less than, again, 3 halves times 2 epsilon over 3, Mix up my epsilons, and that becomes the simplified, and indeed you get epsilon, and therefore rigorously we get that the limit, limit as n goes to infinity of I believe 2n plus 3, what was that? Uh, yeah, uh, 2n plus 4 over 4n plus 5. is indeed one half. Very good, and then you're done.